Two days ago, Omar from Whole Mars Catalog got a phone call from Tesla's autopilot team and they said, Hey Omar, yeah, we're sending V12 to your Tesla. Over the last few days, Omar's been driving around San Francisco testing V12. And in this video, we're going to go over everything he said about it and why Elon calls it a breakthrough for Tesla. So very quickly, if you don't know, what is version 12 of Tesla's full self-driving? Well, in version 11, they wrote code to tell the car how to drive. And now they just show the car videos of humans driving. And through watching that video data, it learns how to drive. So V12 is basically artificial intelligence. Omar says this shift makes the drive feel much more human-like, whereas V11 used to feel very robotic. For example, in this scenario, pedestrians are crossing during a green light and FSD Beta 11 probably would have robotically stopped and waited for them to cross fully but Beta 12 handles this much more naturally in a way that doesn't piss off cars behind you. Omar has been testing FSD since it was released to the public, and he says this new version fixes so many problems that have existed for years. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Here is one example of a problem it fixes. Tesla FSD Beta has never been able to get into the left turn lane to enter the freeway when it is filled with other cars at rush hour. Now with FSD Beta 12, for the first time in three years and three months, it can do it. And here's another example of a problem being fixed with V12. All right, we got a pedestrian crossing in front of us. And it's creeping forward a little. It saw that the other car was making a right turn. I like that. In FSD 11, even if there was a car on the other side making a right turn, it would usually wait for it to finish. With V12, it saw that it was starting to turn right and it just went without hesitation. So you guys can see some of the improvements, but the thing I am most excited about with V12 is that it now takes you from curb to curb. Check this out. What FSD Beta 12 allows you to do really is drive curb to curb with zero intervention. So I have the destination set right now as Palm House on Union Street. That's where I wanna go. So I'm parked here on the curb in the financial district, I wanna to go to Palm House and it's gonna take me there from curb to curb with zero interventions. Let's try it out. So all I do is push this button when I'm ready to go. And here we go. And there we go, Palm Mouse is right up ahead. No cars parked there, so it should be able to pull right over. And there you have it. What did I tell you? I told you FST Beta 12 could take us curb to curb with zero interventions. And that's exactly what it did. So curb to curb really makes me feel like we're getting close to robo taxis because now you literally don't have to do anything for the entire time. And Tesla autopilot team said to Omar on their phone call, they said, you're getting a rough version because you're literally the first person in the States to get it. But now it's really just a matter of time. I can actually taste level five autonomy. The fact that you can get in a car, press a button and from curb to curb, it will even park the car for you and you're there. It doesn't feel like we're very far away. Now, here's a really interesting experience that I heard Omar talk about on a Tesla Spaces call. Yeah, it's just very natural. There was one accelerator press I had to do in Bernal Heights where it was like a really steep hill and I couldn't see what was on the other side of the hill. So we're like pointing straight up and it stopped at a stop sign. And I, I can't really see, but I just give it a little nudge on the accelerator pedal to go forward. And as it comes down the other side of the street, there's like a construction worker standing in the middle of the street, like setting up some equipment. And I'm like, huh, is it possible it was like waiting for him and I couldn't even see him, but it did or something, or maybe, you know, it was just sort of bugging out. I don't know. But you are starting to see some of those sort of signs of superhuman perception at picking up little things before I can pick it up. And it just reacts very fast too. The responsiveness to everything that's happening around it is greatly improved. And this has uh, resulted in a driving style where it can get much closer to things. It can become much more human-like and has much less of that robotic sort of margin of error it has to keep around everything. You know, there are times when it's like overly cautious, but when it makes a move, it's decisive. You don't see a lot of that sort of okay, maybe I'll do this and then chickening out and going back and forth. 
it doesn't hesitate when it decides it wants to do something. It goes for it. And uh, yeah, I think people are really going to love it. I don't know. You know, maybe it's a lot worse outside San Francisco. I have not really left San Francisco yet. So, you know, I'll, I'll try it in the South Bay. I'll try it in the LA area as well, of course. And, you know, it could be that in most of the country, it sucks. I think it's really interesting how Tesla FSD has worked better on the West Coast than the rest of the USA in the past. And I think this has to do with the infrastructure of V11. You know, they were writing the code, telling the car how to drive. So they were probably optimizing it for San Francisco because that's where the headquarters of Tesla was. That's where the engineers are testing the software and that's where they want it to work the best. Then you have guys like Dirty Tesla in Milwaukee complaining that it's not as good as he's seeing from Omar's drives. But now with V12 and the intelligence that they're shifting to, video data, end-to-end -end neural nets, I think what's going to happen is FST is going to become more adaptable across the U.S. They still need video footage of places like Milwaukee, but I think they're not optimizing it for San Francisco anymore. This car is learning to drive like a human because it is watching videos of humans driving from the exact same perspective on the Tesla that those videos it's watching are from the eight cameras on the Tesla. So when it's driving, its perspective looks exactly the same as the videos it watches. So I think this is really going to become adaptable across all of the U.S. It's it's fucking impressive. Like literally for three fucking years, I've been testing this software and it could never. Do I know what you mean. it was just way too hard. <laughs> I've completely like lost hope. I'm like, OK, this is just too much of a shit show. Yeah. And boom, it just fucking did it. It just turned what I've been wanting it to do for three years. It just did it. And it's not just the one issue. It's so many, like a long list of things all improved. That's like you've never seen this in, in one update where it's improved so many different areas. It's really pretty super exciting. cool. And this is in your hardware four car, right? Yeah, and this is the first time a Hardware 4 build is out. So I imagine it's probably even better on Hardware yeah, 3 yeah. than Hardware yep, 4. That's what I was going to say. Because there's have... probably some Hardware 4 related bugs. Yeah, you don't have any sonar. So you're total vision only at these. No ultrasonics, yeah. no radar, just vision. Yeah, vision only. It's going to make robo taxis cheap to produce. Tesla's going to make millions of robo taxis. Look at this Omar driving at night in the rain on V12 navigates just like a human around a stopped car with no hesitation. This is on vision only, hardware four. Elon was right. And speaking of Elon, I am about to tune into the Q4 earnings call and hear what the guy has to say about V12. I will be making a video about whatever he says tomorrow. So make sure you just make love to the subscribe button, tease it, tickle it, click on it softly, tell it your fantasies about Tesla rising, however much percent you fantasize that if that makes sense. But however you make love and open up and be intimate, do that now for me, but not like that, but for him, for the button. Cause the button, I'm just gonna go. All right, I'm just gonna go. Enjoy the earnings call and I'll talk to ya later.